We're gonna go above and beyond. I'm tired of people not seeing that I want to change lanes. And then we're gonna light up the night, baby. Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate, I sure appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time because we're gonna talk about wiring flat toe lights. More specifically, that airplane needs to go away. More specifically, improving, <laughs> I'm actually, I'm gonna do a little project to improve the wiring on my flat toe lights. But I thought I would, I, I thought we might have a little discussion about the wiring harness in, in, in specific to, to what we've done here on the F-150 because that might have some value to you. Now we've outfitted our F-150 White Lightning. I've got an integrated braking module. I have the Stay and Play Duo from Demco. So Demco Stay and Play Duo is on the F-150. That requires a power source from the coach, which means we need six wires. We need a hot leg going to that to power it. But normally, if you're using just a set of a, a removable braking module, you don't you don't require that that hot leg to power just a, a 12 volt power supply. You just need your running lights, your brake lights, and your blinkers. So you really just need a a trailer wiring harness setup, which is what we have. Uh, for our lighting on the F-150. Now, you can tie into the onboard wiring harness for the truck, but that requires some diodes to keep the, the power so sources separate so you don't short out your battery or your wiring. Uh, that's a little more complex than I wanted, and they gave me the option. I, I, I opted for a dedicated flat toe wiring harness on the pickup. So it's just like having a trailer wiring harness. So well, it's not real difficult to do that. And there's plenty of schematics online as to how to do that. So I'm not gonna go too deep into running the wiring harness and all of that, but I am gonna show you how those lights are installed in the tail light assembly of the F-150. We use the seven way with the umbilical and this is our second umbilical. The, the, the first one, it, after a couple thousand miles, we started having issues with it not uh, powering the brake lights. And we have a plug. Now, I had a different wire uh, license plate holder that locked up, but I damaged it. I pulled into a post, and I can't find another one. Uh, and so I've got this spring-loaded one on there, and that's not ideal because you can see it's wearing on the umbilical. So uh, on this day of projects, I will take that license plate holder loose and flip that spring around so that it's not engaging. But we plug in, and now the trailer wiring harness on the F-150 is connected to the motor coach. Make sure I don't get run over while I'm playing in the street. I'm gonna go up here and turn on the emergency flashers. Emergency flashers are on. Emergency flashers are actually the same thing as your blinkers. It's just engaging both of those circuits at the same time. And that same circuit actually is your brake lights. But on Trudy, brake lights are both both of these and this is the daytime running or the the tail light so at night that's that's what lights up now on the f-150 we have the topper that has a, a light and that's actually tied into the light the brake light circuit on the truck you can see we have incandescent bulbs in there on both sides where we're blinking. But what frustrates me is they're not very bright. You can just barely see those. And if you're right here behind the coach, you can't see that I have my blinkers on. That leads to many problems trying to train 
change lanes, especially in in traffic in Dallas, nobody sees that. That is that is not nearly bright enough. And let me show you why that is. Well, you see what it is. It's a little incandescent bulb. I've already done some prep work for this video. There's two two bolts right there that pop out. And then there's three points. There's three tabs that hold that in place. And our trailer lamp, they created a hole with a hole saw. And it, that, that light socket just fits in there. As you can see this is just a little incandescent. It's not very bright. What I'm going to do, I found this on of course Amazon. This is a red LED bulb. It's supposed to be a direct fit. Oh yeah, much better, more better. We're gonna stick that in there and see what the difference is. Well, that's definitely better. That's, that's, that's better. <laughs> well, we're gonna go, we're gonna go above and beyond. I'm tired of people not seeing that I wanna change lanes. After a recent drive through or up Central Expressway in downtown Dallas, I got to thinking about, uh, about rewiring the flat toe lights uh, and the the LED lamps were the first step in that. Uh, but as I was thinking this through, I got I, I've seen these pickups that have the the lights under the tailgate. I, and I thought, well, that that would definitely improve visibility. So of course I jumped on Amazon. Oh, by the way, I am an Amazon affiliate, and I do earn a little revenue if you click on the links that I'm going to give you down in the description below. Uh, these products, these lights, are available on Amazon, and there's links in the description below. I sure would appreciate it if you'd click on those links. Wiring flat toe lights. We're talking about wiring flat toe lights. Got to keep. I'm. I'm getting old, you know. I got to keep reminding myself what I'm talking about. So, I jumped on Amazon and I found it was really inexpensive. It was like seven dollars for this real simple setup and there's this actually has five functions but it's designed to plug into your uh, four pin your trailer hitch light and it's actually got red the red is power for for the backup lights well for this purpose since i'm wiring flat toe lights i don't need i really don't want I don't care about the, the backup lights. I am definitely not going to be backing the F-150 up while flat towing. But I want people to see me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to install it below the tailgate using the adhesive strip. And then I'm going to wire it into the, wiring, the flat tow wiring harness in here. Rather than forcing you to watch me do this, I'll just zip it out real quick and then show you what I've done. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm back. I got so caught up in the flat toe wiring harness project, I forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> anyway, I realized I didn't have enough tap connectors, and so I had to run back to run into town to the, heart, the auto supply store. If you don't know what a tap connector is, these little things that uh, allow you to put wires together without having to cut or solder or hold on I'm getting one out it looks like this and you put the the main wire goes through this side and then the power whatever you're powering goes through the little hole there and then you crimp down on that with a pair of pliers and voila you've got an electrical connection very very simple to do very inexpensive so but anyway while i was 
buying those, it was on the same aisle as all the lighting accessories. And then I saw something I just, I, just said, you know, if I'm gonna do this flat toe wiring harness project, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go overboard with it. I want people to see me. I don't want there to be any excuses as to why I couldn't change lanes or if someone rear ends my F-150 while I'm flat towing it. So I'll show you what I've done and then I'll show you the what I've really done. So this is the wiring harness, the flat toe wiring harness. Brown is always your, your brake light. White is your neutral. And over here in the harness, the trailer wiring harness, the yellow is going to be your left blinker and then there's the brown is well i already said brown is is the running light the right blinker is the green in this case green is the right hand blinker so i've used tap connectors to get this all put together so let me snap this assembly back in place and then we're gonna light up the night baby see me now no more excuses tired of excuses I can't wait to see what this looks like at night blinkers are on flashers I mean not blinkers I guess they're blinkers because they're flashing they're blinking on and off okay so we got both of them blinking on the coach. Uh, you gotta wait. Not yet, not yet. We gotta get back here so you can truly appreciate this during the day. There it is. <laughs> no more excuses. So Y'all wait right here and I'll go left blinker, right blinker, brake light and then running light so i'll be right back today's video is sponsored by campgroundviews.com the cutting edge technology in trip planning for your rv trip you want to know what that site's going to look like? They have got you covered with 360 degree views of every campsite. They currently are focusing on recreation.gov campsites. They have completed all of the West Coast and are in the process of getting all of the East Coast campsites. And then they'll be moving into the central United States. So it'll be a little while before I get to take advantage of this technology. But they have an early bird special that I'm taking advantage of. And I recommend that you check it out and see if it fits with your budget as well. Because this technology is what we RVers have been dying for. We'll be able to see exactly what the sights look like. No surprises when we get there because of those 360 degree views. They're doing what I set out to do. So my hat's off to campgroundviews.com. The link is in the description below. I encourage you to go check out what they're doing and see if it's right for you. All right, let's go back to what we were doing. top's not very bright during the day it is on those down there on the bottom are, are, are really bright now I don't run at night too much but before I close this out so how about we go dark 
now. So I've got the emergency flashers on. That's the back of the coach. Oh, and I added, just to, just to give you perspective, I added another one of those light bars. Some, sometimes I drive without the F-150. So here we are at night, looking at the back of the F-150. So I'm gonna set you up and, and I'm gonna go and turn off the emergency flashers and turn on, I'll do left blinker, right blinker, brakes and running. So there you have it. Tomorrow morning we'll close this out. I hope you guys found that interesting and entertaining. I hope you get some value out of my light project. I know that we are going to be, we are going to realize the benefits of much brighter lights, especially at night, man. I can't believe how bright that those, those are, but there are no more excuses. If, if I ever get rear-ended, the that person is not going to be able to say, well, I didn't see any brake lights. They're not going to be able to miss me now. All right, hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I sure appreciate you stopping by, and I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I really appreciate that. And for my patrons, you guys rock.